This is a follow up to yesterday's video where I showed the Nephilim Penny here, the LED oscillator, reacting to storm conditions. Today's video is much better, it's a good furtherment and shows radar details. What you'll see is a circle near the middle of the screen with the cross in the middle and that's where we are in Muskogee and then you'll see the storm develop and the changes in the intensity of the LED. OK, onward. Here's a follow up and uh, it's 8.36 now, I got up this morning and I saw that the LED was flashing slowly again, I thought well it can't because the weather's nice outside, but what do you know it started to thunder, there's a tiny little popcorn has sprung up in the last few minutes and this has been flashing this slowly for half an hour, it appears to have flashed slowly before anything was shown on radar, so that I thought was very interesting indeed. OK, I'll follow up if there's any more to report. Here we are some while later. The storm is still close by. I'll hopefully get the images to prove. And the rate is still slow. We'll see what happens in about another hour's time. About another hour, and as you can see, the LED is still very slow. And from the images you have seen before, you can see that the storm itself has moved slightly away, but has definitely increased in size. So maybe this is a correlation, we'll see later on. Now, as you just saw, by 11am, the storm has started to thin out and move slightly away from our area, though there's another one lower down the map. But guess what? Because it's moved away, the LED is now flashing quicker. This is really quite fascinating. And as you can see, about 2 o'clock the storm had cleared off and the LED is there flashing normal speed. Okay, thanks for watching.